my name is Nono Wen. Nono Wen is a professor of education? Yes, professor in computer science. Oh, computer science. Can you shortly explain what you are doing in the school? Um, uh, I'm teaching uh, in some subjects, uh, especially in software engineering. You see, there are many directions of software engineering. We are, we are also very interested in software engineering because every, every industry looking for software engineer, mechanical industry asking software, electric engineering software, everywhere. I believe um, uh, unlimited number of software engineers we need right now here. So we are very happy to meet you. So can you shortly uh, specify which software part you are especially educated in your institute? Um, I'm teaching for the software development. Uh, the, all my students, uh, I have to teach the basic uh, components of how to uh, design the software and how to think the requirements and also how to implement uh, for the software. I see. So uh, you said you are also working for the education side e-learning side. Uh, can you explain? Yes. Um, uh, I started in 2004 for the e-learning online teaching system at the Yangon University. So it called web-based teaching system. So, uh, Moodle or some other software you use? No, not Moodle. Uh, it's uh, our own software. So you, you put also some video in your system? Yes, uh, we use only just a presentation, video presentation, mm -hmm. and also um, PowerPoint mm -hmm. presentation as well. I see. Uh, what we are emphasizing here, so now we trying to use a notebook, so this notebook can show there. Uh, also, we have uh, some video like here, so the lot of presentation uh, windows we have so one for students the other one for some other uh, place this is the system from notebook so we have all the input in real time from notebook so when you look at this kind of video from internet e every everything looks like they have a good video but actually this video is worse than real teaching and also nobody believe the video can really replace the live lecture this is my challenge. If you really make a real-time presentation using such a device, so this video can replace live lecture, then means a lot of uh, changing of education paradigm. First, one teacher make a good video, every class can share. I yeah, that, that's, a, that's a challenge. Once, once we have this, and we really make uh, one class for everywhere, so that's, that's what we are trying. I'm pointing out what the problem of existing uh, system. For example, all this kind of a presentation place. Nobody recording now. It, it looks like everybody has a recording system. Everybody has a great solution. Cameras very nice, recording device, right? A lot of broadcast equipment there. But unfortunately, some reason, nobody recording. This is what I'm pointing, because there are several reasons why they cannot do this. First, the teacher always trying to uh, explain depending on situation. The teacher is the owner of the video. So teacher has to have capability pointing the bar here, for example. And also they have to have uh, something like that way to make a bigger screen. Immediately all the students watching this screen. When they have uh, another one, everybody watching there, so they can make a bigger, so they will see that students. So all operation has to be done by the teacher. In the same time, every teacher has a capability of changing beautiful studio by themselves. So let me show very quickly how I change the different feelings. For example, background I change, and while we can make a very smooth one like this, and then immediately we have a beautiful studio. That way, every teacher Within five minutes, they can make their own style of the video, so students don't have to watch the same video all the time. So this is one, one advantage we have is uh, changing studio, so people look very beautiful. Uh, people, teachers, has to be better video than real. <laughs> and also every classroom has to have a very uh, interesting thing there. For example, I can 
uh, slightly change the camera here so it will have a uh, more beautiful so the third one is the if the uh, video stay one camera angle continuous it makes people very very boring now we have here to have different angle when you move this one every people watching immediately the PowerPoint slide when you move this one to here automatically everybody watching you so your eye going to this camera so every student who is watching this video in different classroom or video they immediately has eye contact which is called virtual eye contact even in the classroom we tested in Korea the teacher sitting in the back of the classroom and then the all the students watching this video in the screen so when say hello everybody that means every student in 60 students or 100 students thinking the teacher is watching every individual people like a god yeah? so and then when you make a, this kind of screen then everybody watching the screen automatically when you bring this one there they watch the PowerPoint screen when you bring this one everybody watching the students who make a question that way we can make uh, all tools for teacher without any camera operator without any broadcast production guy only the teacher doing every operation of camera as well as studio design as well as the live camera switching and then they have a whole video immediately and all this video become available in everywhere